Hello and welcome everyone. I am Chintan and you are watching Archivision. Firstly, thank you for clicking on this video. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe and also hit the bell icon. So in this video, we'll be talking about what makes a good architectural thesis topic. So there is no such thing as a bad or a good topic. So what matters is what you can perform best at. So a topic that you can show all your skills and express whatever you have learned throughout college to the best of your ability is the topic that you should go with. So uh i was personally asked to come up with potential thesis topic that i think are good enough and should be explored for architectural thesis this year so so what i would say should you personally do is uh don't just download the list straight away rather uh, watch the whole video and look at these points that i am telling you to consider then after you have come up with a general direction that you want to proceed in download the list and then see what topic aligns with your direction then go through with that topic and do a amazing thesis and i hope you do well so the first point in this is dare to be unoriginal so what i mean by this is that you need not go out there searching for a very new and a very original and a very original other you can choose a topic that is very conventional and you can do a good job at that only so by choosing a topic that is very unoriginal uh, it provides you with an opportunity to execute it in a way that has never been done before and exhibit whatever you have learned throughout college so take a very unoriginal topic and perform it to the best of your capability so point number 2 here is uh, choosing a topic that you are personally interested in so by doing this it will ensure that you stay positive and motivated and passionate throughout the length of the project and this eventually will lead to a great final year project so the third point here is what are you best at so keeping aside personal interest for a moment and i just said that you should be investing in what you are personally interested in but keeping aside that you should also be self aware about what are you good at and what you can do th to the best of your ability so consider that also and then amalgamate it with what you are interested in and then you should have a combined answer that what you should be pursuing with in the future so the fourth point here is that do we have enough case studies and research work for the topic that we are willing to go through with so having enough amount of literature case studies research will help you analyze and come up with problems and ask better questions and then solve them by your design process so choose a topic that has already enough case studies and research work so the fifth point is what is the scope of the topic that you are choosing So generally, we as students and creative people, we generally tend to choose a topic that is very expensive. But in real life, it it is very unrealistic to pull off a topic that is very expensive and cannot be pulled by a single individual in about six months. So choosing a topic that is very limited in scope and focus on one problem, and uh, then you come up with a solution for it by designing something. Then, if you have achieved that goal and you have achieved that aim. then you can expand in the future after achieving a goal but start off small and keep the scope of the project very limited so that is my advice to you about the scope of the project or the topic that you are choosing so the sixth point is that is the topic that you are choosing align with the future plans so by future plans i mean that you have a certain masters in mind or you have a particular job in mind or you want to explore a particular field so let's say you want to pursue landscape architecture so you must ensure that the topic that you are choosing uh, should align with your future goals so consider considering landscape architecture choose a topic that exhibit a certain amount of skill in landscape rather than choosing a small topic that exhibits less or no amount of landscape design in your project of thesis will be not beneficial in pursuing landscape architecture as much so choose a topic that aligns with your future plans and go through with that okay So the seventh point here is that is the topic that you're choosing for your architecture thesis aims to solve a real world problem. So by real world problem I mean that uh, let's say you select thesis topic that helps the poor sleeping on the streets and you design a small scaled home for those people. So that is a real world problem that is the world is facing the housing problem the waste management the climate changes. So these are the problems that the world is facing right now and they need a solution for it so yeah try to find the problem around you that you see can be solved via architecture solutions and architecture interventions and try to solve that and that can be a thesis topic in itself
and the last point here is like to remember and have fun and enjoy your thesis and enjoy the process of learning and whatever you will learn throughout the thesis so i know it is a very hectic and a pressured situation for most students but try to enjoy the process help each other out and not just feel very competitive around it and it matters quite a lot but it is not the end of the world if you mess it it is okay to mess it up sometimes and you can enjoy and learn throughout life and this is just a learning step that you need to take in your life so enjoy and have fun and do a amazing thesis so i hope it helps and uh, i was requested by nitin from hyderabad to come up with a list of potential architecture thesis topics so i have done that for him so you can find that list in the link down below you can download it directly and and see if it helps and let me know in the comments what topic you are choosing and what do you think and you can like discuss in the comments as well uh, to suggest some topics that you want to so yeah have fun and enjoy your architecture thesis and see you in the next video